Hello. Hope everyone's having a good day today. Uh, so, I know I said I would do some off-screen grinding for Legends Arceus. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, apparently, the point that I stopped at kind of locked me out of actually doing anything without progressing story. So, we're going to be doing that until I get to the, like, access to the new place. And then hopefully doing things like, uh, um, I think maybe just doing some like record one of the some of the requests. Anyhow, drinks have been made. Hey, General, how's it going? I'm doing all right as well. So yeah, I can't actually progress the story until I on. Like, uh, get in here. Apparently, like I, I, could, I couldn't even leave the city to go do what I wanted to do. So we're we're gonna do this and then some requests. Hello, final. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneezler. He will guide you to her domain. He looks like he's seen shit. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for the abrupt how do you do before. I am the Warden Ingo. I understand you need a hand from Sneezer in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now, let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard. Uh, is, is he okay? There's no trains in this era. I have to get up at 6 tomorrow morning, so yay. I I do too. I gotta help my mom with some work. But whatever. That man looks like he needs sleep. Hey! It's me. <laughs> a of the title is sussy. <laughs> also, thank you for the lurk, Uni. How's everyone doing? Also, Moist, how's, how's it going? How so? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. I wonder, oh, oh! I think he's one of the train conductors from Black White. I think it was. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in some of his, the gaps of his memory. In any case, I'm I'm glad to have your help to count one on once again. Final. He's from Black and White. Okay, okay. I think you're a little too close, a little too close to the house on Pixel Mountain. No, I'm just far enough away. It's eight to twelve blocks, and I'm I'm. 10 blocks away, I think. Good luck up in the Highlands. Alright, so... How's... My Pokemon? What time of day does it spawn? Morning. Morning, roofed forest, uh, 0 0.3... Uh, on the on the rareness scale, and uh, what was it? On 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 planks and indoors. So it's incredibly vague on off on all fucking fronts. Trying to think if there's a Pokemon I can show you to evolve Moist, because I think you'll love its evolution. I'm sure I'll find something eventually. Oh, there's a mass outbreak of oh, gold bats. Corny Highlands. Crimson Marlins. Anyways, how was how, how was everybody's day doing? Binging or cane? Okay, okay. By the way, Moist, if you want to see my gym, it's to the southwest of uh 
of uh, the sp the spawn ring. Get the demo. So my whole map, like where I explored, and my waypoints got deleted. Really? Did you change IPs at all? Because that might might fuck with things. I already have a side dock. Carnivine. Turn around. Thank you. When you start a battle, your status conditions on yourself are cleared. Uh, yeah. Turn around. Fuck. Oh, that actually impacted. Okay. Alright, the one thing I wanted to do was... What am I currently doing? Well, there's two bags here. One there, one there. Uh, secret medicine. I hate the warden of the highlands. Well, not hate, I just dislike him. The one that in charge of, um, uh, whatever that other one was. Oh, there. I'd keep your distance if I were you. Just look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was going to set up at the base camp. One stunky would be a headache, but this this group is a full-blown migraine. Maybe I can get someone else from the team to handle this. Someone good at battling. I'll drive them off. Are you sure you're up to this, though? They stink something fierce. Leave it to me. Well, if you insist, but you've got to beat three of them, so be ready to run and stay downwind. Oh, it already farted. You met Melly already, I think? Kate never came, so I'll just show up. I don't think so. Oh, it just got really foggy. Uh, 
Uh, I think you didn't meet him in Jube Life. Admin wanted you to battle to prove you're strong enough to quell the frenzy of the noble. I think. Why is there so many evasions? Oh, it's because of the fucking fog. Kidding, you've got talent, and your Pokemon were so brave too. Can't believe you handled those three uh, three stunky all by yourself without getting smelly. Thanks, you can uh, set, get the base camp set up now. Hold on a minute. Nice. There we go. What do you think? Makes things feel a little bit safer out there, no? And not a whiff of stunky here either. Stop at any time. Hell yeah. This makes a second base camp for us to use in the Crimson Marlins. Perhaps if Stunky will pop by for fun in the game sometime, eh? Wouldn't that be a treat? You're fucking in the head, Professor. So you found a cure for my Psyduck, let's give it a shot. Yo, the gym looks sick, I dig it. Awesome, thank you. By the way, you didn't you didn't even see the the main part of it. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, oh, fuck. I'm just gonna do a quick thing. I wanna show Moist something. Uh, oh no, never mind. Moist all already left. Apologies, I was gonna show you the, the secret of the, the gym, but we'll, we'll do that whenever we battle. Look at the Psyduck all better already. What a relief. Thanks for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little bit nervous about the Galaxy team before, but you're but you're the sort of folk that are kind enough to help total strangers. I guess I have no reason to worry. What'd you call that stuff again? Secret medicine? Gosh, the Galaxy team must be very talented. Maybe I'll visit you all in Jubilife sometime. I think changing the time period changes the weather. I kind of figured, but I'm also curious to see... Ooh, I got a max revive for that. I'm kind of just curious to see what uh, a Pokemon came out in the fog. Actually, if I'm, over, if I'm a little over level, let's let's go back and... Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, get, I'll get these... These uh, satchels first, and then we'll... And then I'll head back. Sword and Shield, I guess it's mostly Fairy and Ghost types. Probably. Uh, it is... A little bit to my right.
You know, I'll just take this quest. Say you there, could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from the Myrlands camp when I saw this Alpha Hippowdon came after me. I got away, but I dropped a charm I was carrying. Now I can't find it anywhere. I've just got to have it back. Find a charm lying in a swamp. Could you bring it back to me? Sure. Ooh, some good, some good sax music. Straight this way. Okay, wasn't expecting a frickin' poison asteroid. What is that? Oh, Alpha Ursa Ring. Oh, fuck, it is after me. Hello, Final, how are you? I'm doing alright. How's it going, Green? Also, thank you for the hydrate. Everything fine? Just fine? Pretty neutral day for you, I guess? Ah, oh, fuck it, I can't get up there. Would you like to Yeah, fine, whatever. Yeah, okie doke. Ha, <laughs> 69,000. Alright. Let's go to the Highlands. I know I said I wouldn't do story progression, but I figured, you know what, let's do that instead. I can do all the, like, side stuff off stream. To the Coronet Highlands. I wonder what this place is like. Wow, okay, that's right close. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokemon wandering around these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space-time, is the peak of Mont Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Story progressing? Hell yeah. 
Ooh, hi. This place looks pretty. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult uh, being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially as one as irritable as Electrode, then becoming frenzied to boot. So true, it's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Oh, her, yeah. I, I remember Melly. Well, well, Warden Ninko of the Pearl Clan. And oh my, the Galaxy t uh, Team Grunt from before. You're punching uh, well above your weight to seek out a like, great electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But, by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face waits you right here. Battle me if you dare. <laughs> Absolutely not, maybe another time. Maybe another time. Well then, let me, uh, let me tell you the great Melly's take on the whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing more than a mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it, ne it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may, to demonstrate to the Almighty Sinnoh that Diamond Clan lives as it is right and good. Well, he's infuriating a little bit, yeah? Do not story rush or you will be under level, believe me. Problem is, I did a lot of grinding off stream before the second session, and so I'm already, like, a little bit over leveled. This may be, even dare I say it, the reason that I'm here on this earth. What business is, is it with the galaxy teams, anyway? If Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains. Really, should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours, rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves much suffering. But what is it you want to do, Final? Press on. Very well, the tracks ahead will be perilous, but I will pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler, Final, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you will find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite, uh, quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Interesting. <laughs> yo, you can't. Yo, yo, can't stick around because of our supposed but have a good stream. Okay, okay, Ali, take care. <laughs> we don't want cringe in here. <laughs> Fuck's sake, moist. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route, and I'll conduct us safely. Uh, no darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Take care not to become uncoupled with me. I recall faintly that I had a partner once. A precious one. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wields flames with mastery. If only we were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone as competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I suppose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. I started to recall a man who looked like me. We battled with... The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. We'll be soon arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. The memories himself has faded. It appears much still lives in my heart. Ooh, a lake. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Trying to catch this unknown and I already wasted 20 feather balls because I can't- Are they fast movement? 
Wait, could those be? Let me put those torches where back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. I don't want to fuck with bats right now. That fast, can just can't get a good shot on it. It's on the ones in Jubilee. I haven't done any of them yet. Professor Laventon told me how you fell to the slant from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui. A region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing here in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed them a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But I still wonder, but still I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. What is that? Oh, it's a Heracross. I can't wait to explore this place. That gold bat is sleeping. Parasect. Mothem, Stantler. I like how it looks like Autumn. Hey, do you have the Pokemon? But, uh, I do not know. I have been told that there might be something that will help out later. But I don't want to, I don't want spoil this for now. Wait, what is, what am I? Oh, it's, is it an Alpha Mothem? What's the big idea of putting back all the torches I spent I ages tidying away? Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Running around a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Well, this just goes to show that we, that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put, an app, put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord e uh, Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. Let me proceed final. I'll kick its ass. <laughs> it's for post game, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> kick its ass, final. Yeah. Go skunt. Oh, here we go. Go skunt tank. Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. Okay, then. We get in the way. <laughs> Don't worry, Skun Tank. You defeat Skun Tank. Hell yeah. Listen here, neither I nor Skuntank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to a fort Skuntank a time to recover. There's no shame in tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Boy, I want to punch her in the face. Uh, keep your guard up, we'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now, let's press on. What 
interesting place. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind uh, should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Hello, Volo. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? Remember, it's an electric grass type Pokemon. Okay, thank you. I want to ask about the memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could somehow have been caused by a space time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, or my family if I had any. So it might do better to pose your questions to final, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed, well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, final? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Maybe something. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. That makes sense. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that the space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. Interesting. Nope, thank you for the hydrant, Buster Tech General. Oh, I just popped my chest. Nice. You ever got that good rib cage pop? That, that feels like super good after a good stretch. That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it's the almighty Sinnoh's realm. But that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would final have fallen through to us? There's so much that we don't know. I, f I fervently hope you, uh, you unravel this mystery, Polo. I'm sure it would ease po people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. I'm a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust to that task to final. Until next time, then. Once we're through here, uh, it will be just a little further. Uh, let's move with speed, but not haste. Okay, so they have Bronzor, but not Metagross. That that upsets me. Oh, Bronzong? Alpha Bronzong? No. Always good for some iron chunks. Oh, I also forgot to give people their bags back. Holy hell, there's a lot. <laughs> Guy's name is Potato. <laughs> I also should probably take some time to heal up my Pokemon.
it's a shiny Shinx. <laughs> Yeah, that that was that was a shiny Shinx. Hey, you uh, you're part of the Galaxy team. I've been waiting. Came here since I heard you were planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since that Bronzor is getting in the way. Uh, it's it's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we can just ignore it either. Please, you think you can find out what Bronzor wants? I'm gonna do this quest just because I want to trade out my sh uh, shanks. Hello. Is there something over that way? Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Please let me trade the shiny. <laughs> I need it in my life. Uh, I, if I knew how to do it, I would. Uh, the village? Okay, okay. Zor. I saw a bronzer go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. What the? That bronzer is wounded. This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. Bronzer should be fit as a fiddle now. It seems the bronzer at the new campsite was looking for its friend the whole time. I'm glad you looked into it. Otherwise, we may have been too late to treat this bronzor. This land is dangerous even for the Pokemon that call it their home. Maybe It may be wise to, uh, to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine lineup of wares stocked for you, so please buy anything that you need. And it seems like the base camp has been all set up while we were talking. In which case, I should get settled in as well. Hell yeah. Oh, the friendly bronze are here. I want to see my Pokemon. Uh, can I evolve it? Playing with Bobo on stream. <laughs> how's, how's it going, artist? I think Link's goes in this game at the time. Alright. I just. I, uh, boy, so you still kicking around? Because I just want to uh, like evolve this Shinx so I can just show you what the animation looks like. You would never expect to become able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? Going alright, been a hot minute? Yeah, it has. Doing alright? 
Man, today I've seen the most lucky people going to shiny. I wasn't even expecting it, to be honest. With Sneezer as an ally, it'll become the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think uh, she knew some secret. Some hidden move. Rock climb. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such thing as in uh, in he sweet, surely. Yet, uh, yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Who just just who was I before I came to Hisui? If you fell from the sky, you, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would, would jog this uh, memory loose. Would you honor me with a battle final? All right. They say a friend get a legendary Registeel shiny first try in Pokemon Go. In Pokemon Go, I have my two favorite shinies that I have as as or two favorite legendaries that I have as shiny are Kyogre and Requiza. All aboard then, Machoke, prepare for departure. Uh, I want to go with... If you met Choke. Oh, there's multi. Oh, he has three Pokemon. Sorry, I'm here. Can't type Rocket League. Okay, doke. I'll, I'll. I was just gonna say I'll. I'll let you know when it's uh, uh about to evolve. Yeah, I know it's dying there. What color is shiny Registeel? I want to catch an elf and accidentally one shot it. Alright. Not catch encounter. Ah. I was going to say that doesn't make much sense. Bravo, excellent.
Okay, we're going to evolve the Shinx. Your talent has brought you to this station called Victory. Now allow me to cause a uh, Sneasler. Okay, it looks so weird. Let me introduce you, Final. This is the Keen Cloud Pokemon. Uh, this Keen Cloud Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be uh, so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Let's see, Sue and Sneasel. Yeah. I do, I do I do wish Weavile was it was just like a version of Weavile. Sneezer opened her uh, her heart to and learned well the sound of your playing. The toxic play from Sneezer is a poison type. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneezer's aid and quell the Lord up the up in the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Well, at least she's still nice, even though she's a dick to us. Now then, all aboard. Yeah, you can climb up and down ledges and uh, A button when you're near a climbable surface or use the plus button in any other location. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Well, this is not a slow climb. Also, is that me inside? I like the other ones more? Yeah. Oh, there's a... Is that a good bite? Yeah, it's a good bite. It's not a guard chop. Oh, there's a... Dalgon Palkia statues here. Statue of a Pokemon with an air of the divine. Ancient people must have worshipped it. Oh, they misspelled worshipped. It, it's worshipped. <laughs> what the fuck are you wearing? It's 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 uh, Rowlet clothes. I actually, th it, it, it warms up to you. I forgot how funny Voltorbs look. Oh lore. More lore! Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of the Lord Electrode. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that must um, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to the electric seat, 
Your little, little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Skuntank. Give another whiff of your silent deadliness. Well, he's playing both sides, uh, so uh, he always ends up on top. Oh, I am not healed. I do recommend that you get to the senior Pokemon as team ones and not just for going into the map. Okay. I forgot to use flamethrower. Actually, did he use flamethrower to begin with? That Zubat does not like to do shit, does it? Oh boy, fuck. Why did I do this? Don't do anything. I'm not getting any moves in. Doug and Pelican are massive, I wonder what an alpha one looks like. Same. Yeah, I fucking really should have healed beforehand. We're defeating battle. We'll try again with a stronger team of Pokemon. Oh, but now they're all healed, so now I have a fucking massive chance. They can't spawn his office though. I guess. Okay, so they're not looking around now. Oh, I fucked this. Oh, they're right. They was def uh, it was lower defense. It should be fine. Fucking suck. I 
Stay fucking dead. Anyways, Moist, are you sticking around? Make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I'm here. Okie doke. Uh, af after this cutscene, just uh, stick around. I want to show you what the evolution looks like. I just simply lacked er uh, time. Yes, I'm afraid there was simply wasn't enough for me to raise my Pokemon uh, nice and strong. Uh, could this be why Admin is always going on and on about uh, time being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh uh, truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. Do you want to uh, know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it? Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I've completely forgotten what Electrode likes. What's the matter? Upset? Too bad Anger doesn't make bombs. Melly's really giving you the round, uh, run around, isn't he? Uh, isn't he final? I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Adamant. What now? I can hear you just now, you know? Are you really are you really going to tell this little noodle what he needs to find just like that? Lest we forget you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bo bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you even feel a twinge of how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being the uh, among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like that. It's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out the final here. This is bigger than what team or clan uh, we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't going to just tell him that he needs uh, crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to him. Now it's time to uh, make some bombs. Uh, so lend a hand, both of you. Fine. At the end of the day, let's let, let none say that the great Meli sh uh, sh shirked his duties as warden. I'll help you make your precious bombs. I guess I'm doing the boss fight first. So I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. I don't much under, uh, underestimate, oh sorry, but don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Alright, so actually, yeah, let's do... Uh, Moise, are you ready to see what a uh, evolution looks like? I'm wondering if Moise is here. Word of advice, do not stop moving. Uh, that's that's one of my favorite parts of these bosses. I wonder if he's busy with... Uh... But literally, do not stop. Okay... Would prefer to get my ass roasty toasty, but well, well, I guess I'll survive. Moist, you there? Cared me twice because I stopped moving for too long. Arcanine did too. See, once I, once I realized Arcanine's patterns, it was a little bit better. While he responds, I'm gonna.
Well, I'm waiting for him. I'm just going to go look around. Oh. Ow. Is the camp just beside it? Oh. Up there? Roman of Walker League Gaming Cat type I'm watching. What did you just do what you gotta do? Oak and oak. Sorry about that. I wasn't sure. Uh, up. I do like the color of the sh the, the shinies in this in this line. Anyways, I thought you would enjoy that. I don't know why. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pitch yourself against Electrode. Sure, I'll battle. <laughs> huh, you have some great deal more pluck than you have sense. I'll give you that. A word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. Hey, it sounds like- he, he sounds like Chad! <laughs> Don't stop moving! Don't stop moving, Final! Don't stop moving! Dot, stop moving, fine, I won't. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Ow. Oh, this is hard. Oh, we d well, we don't. S okay, so. I love how I can only see it smile. <laughs> Oh fuck.
Oh, that one hurt. Oh, Caesar, you beautiful bastard. Oh. It just point blanked me. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Fuck, okay, I walked right down. I love how it's sacrificing other Voltorbs. Doing a lot better this time. Why are these April coins exploding?
Come on, come on. Got him. It looks kind of funny. Nice. Well, for shame, what utter calamity. I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes, but now that Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me. Glad its sufferings ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adamin. Seriously? That's just your wishful thinking. Nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, but if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive right on schedule. Now what did you bother coming back for? I want to say that I recalled some things after Final did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world where I believed I lived before my memories were lost. Most people caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed uh, supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we did called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked towards the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. What was was your world like Ingo described to you, Final? It sure was. If I remember Final Pokemon terrifying creatures. <laughs> yeah. I never thought I'd have uh, such a world uh, I never thought such a world could exist. Oh once again the brilliant warden medley has realized something rather clever. Uh, it's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Adamant, share with me again the wisdom of the Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. Alright, alright. Open ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Uh, give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Bring not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run towards the destination at an even higher state. And of course, your higher state is clear, Final. It surely lies with the next Lord. Now, this time I will truly uh, make a complete return trip to Jubilee Village. Perhaps with someone like Final to show that people need, uh, to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander comment over my report. Until next time, Final. I'm scared of the gumbo Pokemon. Which one's the gumbo Pokemon? Mr. Mime. <laughs> Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's all what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time. And it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both my, myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, what was that? Oh, I can climb ruins?
This is like Assassin's Creed shit. I like the sound design in this game. Oh, there's a electric buzz. Oh, crap, that's an alpha electivire. This is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. Jokes on you, fucker. I'm going over. Or not. Ow. There you go. <laughs> go and look at the camp that's on the hill beside the arena. Okay. Well, I, li I like the sound of this. <laughs> On the hill beside. Up this hill? No, it's not a hill. On this hill? Search for a petition. Petition or partition? There's two things here. Oh, this is where Potatoes Lost Satchel is and Arvid. I mean, I can, I can just teleport here. Oh, you mean down here? Need to unlock a request, okie doke.
Well, hello there. Oh, I pissed it off. Well, that's a space-time distortion right there. I like the little noise it makes. The rota well, I'm right beside it, so maybe that's got to do something. Porygon Lend is exclusive to space-time distortions. Interesting. So it's a, it's, it's a glitch in the space-time because it's a computer bug? Modern technology? Yeah. Is it a Miss Magius? Oh. Well, I guess Miss Drevises are shy. up you can get the other starters into post game okay I did manage to find Monferno though my, my next goal is to find Empoleon Spawn naturally in post game. Okay. Oh, fuck. supposed to find in space-time distortions again?
Because my first time, uh, my first t uh, t time space distortion, I got the water starter. Oh, I just heard a bronze ore. That's a. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, let's use some of this shit up. Uh... Am I just supposed to find these shards? Any Pokemon can spawn in here. Okay. Have a bomb and dust cloud. Dust clops. Make it makes. There is no grass around here. Well, it's not that I see yet. Artillery. I think I needed an artillery. Oh, oh that's a hydro pump. These three bandits seriously challenging me again. Did that not? Oh fuck! That's a. I was so close to dying there. So I'm just trying to get my health back. Do I do I heal faster with uh with crouching? Almost looks almost like a gravestone. Shiny stone. Uh, 
Oh, I almost got my shit kicked in. Pokemon type space distortion are always aggressive, even Eevee. Okay. I definitely gotta get a bigger satchel for shit. Oh, that's a... Uh, what is that? It's chingling. Uh, that was fun to look at. Oh, there's a right right horn. Alpha Rhyperior. Oh, that's... Level 55 Chingling, really. The Ch Chime Echo. Holy fuck, that thing's huge. Kick the bandit's ass again? Nice. Cost of my Palkia getting KO'd by a Gengar. <gasps> There's Palkia in this game? Can't tell if your surprise is genuine or satire. Satire. I kind of figured with Arceus in this game, at least Dialga and Palkia are going to be in. <laughs> These nuts. What do I have to fight this thing with? Desidui, good enough. Level seventy four. Oh, that's super effective? Oh no. Pokemon skill to your highest level, and I think, except the Rapidash and the Feelings? Uh, I don't think so, because none of mine are level 70-ish. Not even level 60.
Wow, I can't believe I actually caught it. Oh, I still gotta find these guys' satchels. Next one is over here somewhere. What the hell? Oh. Another space time distortion night. There's two more satchels there. <sighs> no, I don't feel like it. it. Takes 50 minutes for another space time distortion to fully form from the last room. I'm playing that. I, 50 minutes, really? You know what, I gotta, I gotta pack up some of this shit. Appears to be made of a fragment of some implement long ago. Huh. Maybe we can press X. To oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, that helps a little bit. Thank you. I'd like to go report your survey report. Yep. Pokemon catching friend from whatever. Shinx. I, I caught myself a Rotom. Ooh. Nearly 10,000. Nice. Three, two, two, three. Okay. Oh, you quelled Lord Electro. It's a splendid job as always, my boy. Let's be off to the village then. Time to report to Commander Commodo. Final, would you trade me the shiny? What do you got in return?
an equally good shiny. Any Pokemon I have. Have you completed the game yet? See, I've been doing all these for people, but I have I have not received any of the any of these. Is there a way to like receive them back? Do people just not do them? Yes. Um. Hmm. Do you have any shinies on hand? People have to find your satchel. Yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm wondering. Do people even do them? I do? Okay, what shinies do you have? Because I, I, I think a shiny for shiny will be pretty good, right? Does that seem fair? Oh, never mind. People have found them. Thank you, Connor. See, I want this because I have so many candies that I need to uh, deal with. I have the ponytail, but Rapidash now. Uh, I already have the uh, the ponytail from that one. Um, actually, I do have other shinies. Let me. I think I have a shiny Staravia as well. I'm willing to give the lenders. I don't want any legendary. Uh... Yeah, I have a, I have a shiny star of you as well. I don't use it. I can't help you with your last satchel. It's not there for me. No worries. Um. So I'm just trying to think of what, what I want. Uh, give me... I gotta clear out a lot of these. I don't know what I want to trade. Hmm. Well, aside from that, I'm, unless I have Pokemon you don't have and want. <sighs> Problem is that there's a Pokemon I want, but I can't get until like the, uh, I think it's the next area. Which Pokemon? Uh, Riolu or Lucario. I love how happy Rotom always looks. Galade. Oh, Galade will be an awesome one. I'll, I'll, I'll trade you a Galade for it then. I do like a Galade. Uh, 
As long as it's not like stupidly over level, but I, 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 I don't think I'll mind on that one. I want to trade Pokemon. Uh, someone far away. The pre -evo evolution then? What's needed to evolve a uh, Krillia to a Glade? Please enter a link code. Am I supposed to make one up? Okay, I have another code. I'm so fucking mature. <laughs> oh, uh... If you want someone on, uh, someone else have the same link code, you'll trade with them? Okie doke. Uh, it is 8008-1355. With green, okie doke. What's what what? How do you evolve uh, Curly to a uh, Gardevoir? Red Pokemon are broken. They can glitch you into an NPC and have them stop responding. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see. Oh, that's hilarious. Someone to be old. You need an Alba stone. I'm sure I'll, fi I'll find one. Fuck, that was hilarious to look at, though. Uh, until I find an Alba stone, I will keep it in my my pasture. Fuck! Thanks for th thanks for letting me witness that. That was hilarious. First, you may need to level up it. I kind of figured, but for the time being, I'm keeping it uh, safely. Oh, what am I doing? What do I want to do? Where is...
Where's Mr. Death Screech? This is him. I think. Maybe? Yeah, that's him. Anyways, Green, I hope you uh I hope you enjoy your Luxio. I like her. She's cute. Now you can show it off. One one thing I'm hoping eventually is that uh we can do like online battles with people and that way you can just have like two people running around in a battle the thing about the strange ball is that while it is used it is displayed in the trailer of the game what's the strange ball are you talking about like the master ball Hmm. So Warden Melly believes that it's the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial by set by uh, Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it anchored by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far, be, far, far be it from us to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what, cause, what is that space-time rift anyway? What did it cause it to open? Just an all green Pokeball. Interesting. But you must be tired. Go on then to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Well, at least Kamada likes us. By the way, Green, I'm going to need. If, if you're part of the Discord. I'm going to need you to uh, drop what a uh, Lux Ray looks like, uh, shiny. Dinner's on Commodo tonight. Eat your fill. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. I've heard talk that a progress surveying Pokemon has made uh, gathering ingredients a less onerous or at least dangerous task. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've come, fallen from the sky to help us and, and gone to help the people of Hisui so much. Indeed, taking on a perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Final. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Final, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one hit where you, uh, or one wit where you come from, you're part of the Survey Corps and, and Jubilee Village now. What I think is about the Strange Ball, or... They had a Starly in the Strange Ball. Okay. Isn't it nice getting up early? Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Com uh, Commander Commodore's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got the same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grass over so much. To grass over a uh, nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure that we could, uh, we could all guess what Commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyways. I think most, if not all, legendaries except for Manaphy, Fiona, and Diagonal Pocket are locked until post game. Okay. You've now quelled the frenzy of, of, of four nobles. On to the next one. <laughs> when word of these frenzies arrive from all over Hisui, I fear what will become of us. But here we are, already prepping to quell the final noble. Final noble? 
Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only left to quell is Avalug, which is which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. He, he's fucking massive? Okay. Your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change to the space-time rift as well. Avalog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team have to step up to resolve this too. For the sake of a brighter future! Let's meet at the ice, in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Oh, we're going to an ice place. The slumpering lord of the tundra. First, I, I thought, first I thought Avalog was a bug Pokemon. No one to ever think of it, an iceberg was what Avalog was. Uh, I believe Avalog... Fuck, was it XY that Avalog was? Or was it uh, Sun Moon? How many of these uh, frenzied Pokemon you make well, the fact remains that you're a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Yeah. Oh. Abra, teleport this Wurmple outside at once. Oh no, that poor Wurmple. Ahem. The Avalog was called Burgeis or some shit? Huh. <laughs> so, so you just survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face. uh... Climb? Is that supposed to be like climate? Or is it supposed to be like, is that a misspelling of climb with a B? I would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the survey corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders? See your mission through. Okie doke. After I complete the Icelands, I'm gonna set to see if I can actually do, like, um, what's it called? Like, actually go back into the field? Excuse me, and then we'll see what we can do. I wanted to see something. Apparently, this guy has an idle animation. That's kind of funny. Let's see if it has an actual idle animation. It has to be your Mr. Mime, I think. No, because I, th I think I've, I've heard that's things once in the wild too. I'll get, I'll get a minute or so. Just because I'm curious. Alright, I guess not. So we're to make for Alabaster Icelands. That's it. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. This seems like li there seems little choice but to intervene. This Avalog on the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul, as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? Avalog's as great in mind as they say he could very co well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know? I confess I still have my doubts whether we should be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Final out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. 
If the Lord is suffering, it's frenzy like people say, it wouldn't be kinder to quell it. There's simply so much we don't understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. Hi, you're on a rock floating at space. It's some of it's water. Fuck it, it's most of it's water. I can't even... What are you going on about, Rose? Nor do we know where they all they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rifts. What is it, I wonder? That the commander hopes that will come about from quelling our nobles. Or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land. What is it he hopes to achieve? A way to coexist? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor Laventon? Ah, uh, nothing to bother yourselves about. Del Doubtless I'm just being a silly sausage. Got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Final? Then we will support you in it. Best support I can offer you is now another chance to practice your battle skills. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> That's from the history on the toe. Oh, by Will, it's okay. I'm just glad I get the opportunity to battle you. See, the problem with Bill Warts is that he has good videos, but it's hard to watch them on repeat. You know what I mean? Like, you can't go exactly go back without getting... Because, in my opinion, I get annoyed by it relatively quickly. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Survey Corps member and work with Pikachu is, is due to you joining us. Was supposed to be a history video, not one of his songs. No, I know, but not, not not just his songs. I mean, like any of his videos. Something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fighting together. About your mission in the Icelands? Well, it would be a challenge. Be careful about there. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, my boy. Ooh, all of it's unlocked now. Except the... Bottom left, I think? Or is that even an area? Actually quite majestic. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few ventured to these Alabaster Icelands, apart from Tao Hewitt uh, leading the Odd Supply Corps excursion to gather materials. But the Surfer Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalog, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless this mission will ta to tackle Avalog will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Irida and Adamant to keep yourself safe.
Actually, I'm going to backtrack. Final brisk out here, isn't it? How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think that the problem between us isn't a diamond clan thing or a pearl clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan uh, cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but even such a even such a being doesn't exist. It's not uh, it's not almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell uh, just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher. And he's only found in one place. Which is? Are you talking about that Garrick fellow yet? Where do we find him? At Avalog's legacy, obviously. Uh, where else but a ma uh, great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we'd be heading somewhere even colder? Where else indeed? Ready to go final? Sure, stop off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. I'll see you at Avalog's Legacy Final. Take care on your way. I'm going to go back because I have an outfit in mind. Oh fuck, I guess I did one battle I need to go and do things. I need an outfit change for my... This is not the right one. This is. I just realized she looks very familiar. Is she... One of the... Um... Frontier heads? If you think Irida is underdressed, just wait. Uh, I haven't s seen yet, but okay. Alright, what do I... Festival top, what do I want? I want snow jacket. Because I, I, now we're going to the Icelands, I kind of want to give myself a new outfit. And I need snow pants. I drink buzzer check, thank you. I've spent the whole game on my early purchase bonus. Uh, he's from Grell? Nice. Oh, I didn't realize how dry my mouth was there. Thank you. Uh, oh, Christ. Thank you. Alright, and now I need some fun boots. Snow boots. Okay, so it's only the trim then. Is there a hat I should wear too? Mask, headbands, headkerchiefs, warm cap. I already wear one of these enough in the winter time. I'm not wearing one of those. Bowler caps. Boy, I look fucking good for the winter. Hey, finally got the Lux right. Nice. Which chat in the Discord? Uh, do it in game chat. What was it? Outbreak of Psyducks and Outbreak of Drifloons. No, Drifloons.
No, game chat. Near the bottom. There's a snore run. Oh, that's an alpha glalie. Oh, someone oh someone actually found my satchel. Oh, that's a Fun fact, originally Cherim's catch rate dropped to zero if it changed even forms even once in battle. I guess it would be a glitch. Yeah. That's interesting how uh, they never beta tested that though. Wow. Holy shit, this dude must be freezing. Well, that was a real slog. Fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. <laughs> this gentleman is Avlog's warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. So, some respect, admin. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I'm Garrick. I serve as one of the per Pearl Clan's wardens. Hello, Garrick. And you must be final right of the galaxy team. Image is too powerful. Ah. Uh. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalug? He's in a frenzy. That leads, that leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? Could trouble others. Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is, your, what is it your heart tells you to do? To quell its frenzy. Our mighty Lord of the Tundra, Avalog, has nothing uh, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? Here we are. But there's certainly some logic to that. If that's what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. I'm gonna kick your ass, Ice Man. Is he already teabagging me? Somebody tell me why there's a shirtless man in the tundra talking to me and doing squats. He he's practicing his teabags. I had that copy, but I didn't send it because I didn't want spoilers. <laughs> Musculature is as hard and unyielding as ice. Do you think you can break through? Yes. Seriously, why is there a shirtless man that's under challenging me to a fight? Honestly, I kind of I, I like him. Not 
No effect. Oh, I can actually search up their typing. It's Ice Ghost, okay. Outstanding. I'm as tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me right through and through. I suppose... <laughs> I love how everybody's getting covered in snow. <laughs> I suppose you can get on with it now. This one's alright. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger-like final, but I'll vouch for them. If you insist on quelling Avalok's frenzy, you want to claim some of that eternal icy likes, I'll bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need braviary. Long story short, you gotta seek out a young lady named Sabby. Tell the story long. You're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling out what you mean. Isn't Avalok one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems, be, it seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. But fine, listen up. This, this eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalok's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even a sneezer can climb the surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach it by air, with Braviary's help. So, basically what I'm hearing is that, even though we just spent a little bit getting Sneasler, uh, it's immediately replaced by a flying Pokemon? Am I hearing that right? Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalog's legacy, I'll have you know. He says he made it to within six feet of the top. Might makes right, or at least height. <laughs> and about Sappy, how do I put this? When Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, you understand what you meet her. I head towards Snowpoint Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. Sappy. Oh, that's cool hair. My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on my chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you mean about Sabby, but why would she be up there? It seems you better f And stop fucking teabagging, dude. It seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabby. Let me focus on my workout while I still can. Hello, my name's Sabby. Okay, she's adorable. Nice to meet you, Final. Same to you. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? But you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Braviary's help, so you can quell Avalok's frenzy, do you? Don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. Let's go, Braviary. At least she's, like, not tormenting us, but... Wait, was my guy just rubbing his arms? Ow.
It's interesting how even the Pokemon get like a powdered snow texture. I think Bravery would change colors because of the climate and snow changing make it need. No, I mean that's more than reasonable. Final. Oh, she's so happy to see me. You made it all the way up here in this cold. The question is, did you catch me, or did I let myself get caught? Hmm? Oh, one more thing. Am I even really clear, really clairvoyant? You might be. Hmm. No one but me could really know, right? Anyways, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. But the real question is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Hmm? I think Braviary could have also lost its psychic powers. I think it's psychic based off of the, the purple mask. Uh, be, uh, because it's it was more reliant on camouflage. Oh, that's a fucking hole I almost went down. By the way, I also found out something interesting. Uh, in Chinese lore, uh, uh, what was it called? I can't remember what the, the Chinese legend is called. But basically, it's there's a legend where if a carp makes it up a waterfall, it becomes a dragon. Like a, like a fish climbs up a waterfall. In Obsidian Fieldlands, there's a bunch of... Uh, there's a bunch of Magikarp near the uh, near the base of the waterfall in Obsidian Field Lens, and one Gyarados up top. And I thought that was just a really interesting thing to read about. Wow, I surely climbed up that rock. <laughs> Hi again, Final. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. Anyways, from Snowpoint Temple, or here's Snowpoint Temple. Oh, I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing for, left for you to do. The real question is, are you really having fun playing with you or am I bored? You already asked, asked that question. That's what Gyarados is based off of. No, I know, but that, that specific thing uh, like, just seeing, like, the water, like, the Gyarados at the top of the waterfall and the Magikarp below, I thought that was really interesting to look at. If you have awarded Sebi's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles. Hmm. Well, get fire, fire within. For the church is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of patterns on their chest, too. Okay, so patterns on chests and statue direction. I wonder what this temple, this Pokemon, this temple's for. Snow point? Wasn't that? Wasn't in Platinum Snow Point Ruins was Reggie Gigas? It is a Reggie. 
plus 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 okay all right so all are, all are facing inwards all of pluses oh wait there's a Okay, hold on. That's snow. I think I'm gonna assume rock. All right, so rock, rock, snow, rock, snow, and steel facing, steel penta facing down. Steel facing left. Ow. Yeah, this is definitely a, like a Regigigas thing. I recognize those eyes. Wasn't there also Snow Point Ruins in Platinum? facing left snow there are three panels fitted into the door each panel has a pattern carved into it oh I get it it's Reg ice Reg rock Reg steel oh Whether the statue's gaze, which panel do you press first? So what was the question? Three panels fit into the door. Each panel has a pattern carved into it. There are faint traces of words carved into the door as well. Whither the statue's gaze. Okay, so it has to be, okay, ice? Ice, steel, rock. Why did they make Reggie look and Reggie drug if they were gonna do anything with him? Uh, that, that's what bothers me. Like, like it, they, they, I don't get it. Alright, so ice is stared at by the store. Just stared at by steel. And stared at by rock. Okay. Okay, so let's try rock. Looking at steel. Looking at ice. There we go. Uh, that's it was the other way around. Honestly, I think Reggie and Lucky or Reggie Drago were the stupidest things ever. Also, fun fact. In Pokemon Showdown, you can actually overload uh, the speed. And, like, if you... I think it's, like, four times the speed plus Trick Room, I think it is, on uh, a Regieleki or a Deoxys speed, uh, the the buffer overflow goes around and makes them the slowest po possible Pokemon.
Alright. Ice. Ice, rock, steel. Ice, rock, steel, rock. Ice, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Ice, rock, steel, rock. Ice. 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 Oh, fuck off. Can you actually see that? Okay. Ice. Oh, fuck. Every corner I turn, there's another statue. Steel. Ice. Steel ice rock. Steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock, steel, rock, ice, ice, steel, rock, steel, rock, ice, ice, steel, rock, steel, rock, ice, ice, steel, rock. Steel, rock, ice, ice, steel, rock. Fuck. Steel ice. Oh, steel ice rock. Steel ice rock. Ice steel rock. Thank you for the help there, Rose. Oh fuck, what else is up here? Oh, you bet your sweet honey ass I'm getting you. They might get more complex. They might. They get. They get more complex. I can promise you that. Or they might have been the last one. I don't remember. Why seek a psychic wake to bug? Have you tried studying a test with a mosquito flying around your head? That's probably why. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Are you saying Mattelli saying that this Tumblr post about fighting's weakness? Why it's fighting's weak to flying? Go outside and suplex a bird. Uh, dude, no. One of the Pokemon like creators talked about why that was a thing. Like, they, they attributed a lot of the weaknesses to like 
what would be reasonable like and i think or like phrases and whatnot so like uh, why why flying is weak to rock is because it's hit two birds with one stone Stupid idea. Oh fuck, it is after me. Oh, there's a Rots. Hi, Rots. And flying being weak to electric is because what can happen if a bird gets struck by lightning? Yes, but funny enough, uh, it's, birds can actually stay on, like, telephone wires because they're not touching the ground. Her hair matches the temple, I think. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with Bear Fury. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really want to uh, be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Can I take us on? Yep. Now get ready, because here come Rhyperior, Megmortar, and Electivire. Oh shit. I'm gonna get my ass fried. You know, I'm just gonna do this. Have my ass kicked, and then go, uh, yeah. I have died to this noble Pokemon for these six times now. I want to your cheese and continue battle. Yeah. I'm gonna get my glade. I want my glade. Actually, before I do that, I do have. Oh, I put all my candy back. Fuck. Oh, look how cute it's running away. Is that the end game is challenging? Ooh, I'm glad there's gonna be a challenge. Yeah. 
No, that's not what I wanted. That make, okay, that made me sad. I'm sad now. I just don't want to, want to come back and add to my team. All over the future, okay. Now get ready, because you're going, okay. All three of them are weak to ground, I think. Sometimes I'm gonna get throttled. I feel like I have less HP every time I die to it. Alrighty then. Give okay, I just beat it, nice. I think it's a little bit busted that uh, uh, Decidueye's uh, like unique move uh, lowers defense as well as powers up Decidueye's next move. I think that's nutty. Well, you caught us and you beat us. You've won all our games so far. Braviary still wants to get to know you even better. Up to the roof we go.
Might want to revive. Oh, it's a battle. Uh, I only have one revive. It's going to go to Driftlight. Wow. Oh, there's an even upper area. That, for some reason, leads nowhere. Unless there's something up there. Actually, hold on. Can I? Damn it. We're gonna grok. All right, Bravery. Why not test out final strength for yourself? In fact, you think good you can uh, get on the roof of the temple? What's up there, may I ask? Ask, the answer may shock you. I mean, I figured you would just use a braviary. I can't believe Breviary lost, but that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye. Hey. I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. Now the credits are rolling. Hmm. Bird. Nice. Received the sky plate. Nice. Thanks, Savvy. I demand. <laughs> Sure, having fun to fly around with Bravery should be fun for Bravery. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think the lightning that com uh, comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you think this is Almighty Sinnoh's anger? Or do you think this is a trial that it's putting to us? If it's a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy, and we call the last noble Calm Avalug, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this uh, trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who've been living here in Hisui for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamant. Hush, Savvy, I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I might get to see meet Almighty Sinnoh myself. Nice. Question is, does listening to Adam and fascinate you or bore you to tears, hmm? Anyways, final time for you to go soar with Braviary. 
If you jump from way up here, Braviary can make your make you gliding just about anywhere. Don't forget to get the Eternal Ice. That's why you need Braviary for the first place, right? So is it a gliding Pokemon or is it? Uh, that looks like it's he's down there. If you get a feel for now, go get a feel for fly, flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. Unfortunately, there's no, there's still a legend that's locked behind another game. Why are you fucking... There's lines here. Time to make the perilous journey up. There's nothing up here. Dark Rider requires save data from BDSP. Oh. Oh, fuck. Thank you, Briviary. No wisps, no encounter, no Easter egg. You think at least a wisp would be up here? Ow. Your arc phone is beeping. I just realized when it beeps like that, it's it's the introduction to uh, RCS's theme in uh, uh, Diamond, Platinum, Pearl. The type of ice loved by the Lord of the Tundra, Avalok. This ice is said to be fragments of an ancient Avalok... An ancient Avalog that lived long ago. How big is this thing? At last, the summon is conquered. And I see you made it too. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? I see there's only there's no wisps to save you time because there's some wisps that only spawn at night. Oh, okay. I do have respect. For, uh, the, I do have to respect the effort you put in. I still may have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I'll make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord Avalog. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall, like the, a tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Till we meet next. Thump. Oh, come on. You couldn't even animate him doing a flip. That would have been so fucking cool. Why, if it isn't final? What a pleasure finding a familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Islands. 
I came to bring uh, Garrick an order of uh, an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Apolog. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Sure. And where would you be? So I'm like, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. And that that he is. And you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he brush you with the chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles. And he can use sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground uh, below you. Doesn't, it seem that it, doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the avalanche of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Holy shit. Oh, because it's big. <laughs> At least the G-Max, Eevee, and Pikachu gifts weren't too impactful to the game, unlike Dirk Ray, uh, despite all of them being lurked behind games. I never liked G-Max, Eevee. Or G-Max, Pikachu. Well, I was okay with G-Max, Pikachu. It, it gave us back the fat Pikachu. Does this seem a bit too big to take on? Well, you'll be alright. Just... You'll have to eat some sword caps, uh, then give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle and all that. Onward now to the arena. Hmm, yes. Well, I didn't want to see av that Avlug. I did want to see that Avlug, but ha perhaps not at the cost of my life. I'd, so I suppose my freezing digits, and I will be off. I like GMAX Evening Design. It's alright. It's not. I love the Bergmites. So we are to quell Avalog as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk amongst both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I better get worked on making some bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, they'll only be a woman's work. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm going. Oh fuck. Am I on him? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. In my opinion, Avalog is the most fit game in terms of dodge, which is a little Get up.
wonder how much HP this fucking thing has. I walked right into that. Oh, it's looking good right into the next phase. Fuck those ice missiles! At least for giving an attack as ice missiles? Yeah, yeah.
what the hell? Okay, I tried rolling that. Fuck off! rock <laughs> hey wait but when you want to work for final please please fucking work <laughs> Got him. Fucking got him. I do gotta say that was actually quite a cool battle. Hell yeah, icicle plate. Garrick, sir, you you needn't look uh, quite so downcast. But seeing the almighty Avalon quelled, and by such a slight slight child. The child that fell from the very sky. Is this final boy some kind of monster in disguise? He is no monster. He's the one who risked his life without a second in order to quell our frenzied, suffering nobles. Final? Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in the Almighty Sino just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team would cause all our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sino. But that will change. Yerda? I know your fears will uh, change once you see what I've seen. Final has much for, much to teach us. He's shown how we can overcome all manner of strife, so long as our Pokemon are with us. He's made me want to help uh, Glaceon realize a greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. Seems like you've already changed, Yerda. I know you would pull that off, Final. What do I have a log rust uh, rock type? Probably because it uh, became uh, more accustomed to uh, glaciers than in uh, mountainous areas. You called every last frenzied noble. So is that space time rift going to start closing up now or what? There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does perhaps seem a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyways. With any luck, things will settle down now. Although even that rift does start spinning up more of that strange lightning, we should still be able to all right as long as we've got final. Indeed we should be. It's good to have him at our side. You know what's something, Rita? 
We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the, the last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Commodo a visit and see if he can finally crack a smile for us. I wanna... Oh. I wanna fly! Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, oh, hold on, I can do bird spin. Well, can I just go backwards? Uh, I'm, I'm flying backwards. It's, oh, it's, it, it, uh, okay. It took quite a bit, but I actually flew backwards. Oh, come on, I switched. No flying oof being ignored. Sorry, I was just a little bit enamored with... Yeah, I was just fucking about with things. Uh, oh, I lost... I lost ten super potions. Holy shit. Anyways, Avery, how's it going, man? Fuck! Okay. How's it going? Fall damage optional. Uh, Caesar Rhyperior, level 6, nice. Managed to quell Lord Avalog. Fantastic stuff, as always, I'm sure to, I'm sure their candor is easily, uh, eagerly awaiting uh, report to the village. Hey, pretty good you. I'm doing alright. Not looking forward to it tomorrow, though, but well, I'm holding my breath. Be so good. No. Um. Am I able to return to other things? Okay, so I can actually go back and visit. Lurk. Okay, okay. Th thanks, Avery. Hope you have a good one, man. I think I'm actually gonna call it quits here now that I can actually go and visit the other places. But I hope everybody enjoyed watching that. I really enjoyed Oh, fuck. There goes my controller. Or, not my controller. My mouse. Uh, let me just do a quick save a here. Alrighty. Um... Just rescue my mouse so I can actually do things. Excuse me. Alright, who else is streaming right now? Good stream, thanks, Moist. <laughs> uh let's see who's on. We have Abyssa and Bathwater Bro. Who are we thinking? Oh, on. motherfucker. Keep forgetting to mute that. Wait, damn. I didn't even realize stream was ending. No, oh, no worries. No worries. We're, I'm, I'm, we're just deciding who to raid. We have Abyssa and Bathwater Bro. Or somebody small if anybody has any suggestions. I really hate the call buttons on Discord. Why so?
Where's how I had the easy yard to misclick? Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Uh, both are doing collabs. Um, you know, it looks, uh, let me do, let me do a quick coin flip. And I'm dropping frames again. Motherfucker. Whatever. Um. If Queen Elizabeth II is immortal and has been around forever, what's the story for Queen Elizabeth I? Um, don't know. Uh, let's do a bit, so. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good, uh, good rest of your night. Or day, depending on where you are. But, uh, the raid message will be actually hold on, let me sauce the Discord and then sauce the YouTube. And uh the raid message will be Hmm. Have a good one. Thank you. Uh this this will be the the raid message. He's sweet raid. I have I couldn't think of anything better. But uh I, I hope everyone has a good night. Um tomorrow I'm hoping to to stream chat Lamity. I gotta I don't know if I'll have time to prepare and if I don't have time to prepare, I don't think I have the confidence to go into it, so we'll have to see about that. Um and as a heads up there'll probably be no stream on Saturday, but that's that's a side thing. Anyways, I hope everyone has a good one.